from the Enderati Studio live at European Utility Week. My name's Rose and I'm joined now by Bill Meehan, Director of Utility Solutions at Esri. Good morning, Rose. Good morning. Thank you for uh, having me here. Yes, thanks for coming. Um, Bill, I wanted to start um, ask, by asking you about Esri and your network of partners and, and kind of what's the benefit of working in a kind of ecosystem of partners sure. like that. Well, one of the things that we do really well, of course, is what we call digital mapping or geographic information systems. And uh, we find that when we go into other verticals, like in utilities or in water companies, that there's certain expertise that those companies really want. So we provide that kind of core capability of, of mapping, digital mapping, analytics, geospatial analytics. But other companies, for example, may want to have uh, like system analysis or metering. So we partner with all kinds of companies to be able to provide that extra service. They can either add their kind of products and their, their nuances onto our product mm. to actually provide a separate product where we're kind of the underlying core, or they provide services of implementation of our product. So we have a whole range, several hundred in the utility space alone that just partner in uh, with, our, with our company. Okay. Can you give us an example where um, GIS is working in the field to mm -hmm. act as a bridge between IT, OT systems. Right, so the idea of IT and OT would be, you know, m much of what's in the field is spatially located, like a, a sensor on a transform. It has to be located here. Uh, the other part of it would be, how do I know what's going on there, not just in relationship to what's at this one point. So for example, a sensor, but how do I know what's going on in relationship to the rest of the environment? A good example might be, let's say a utility company is worried that uh, during a, a storm, like where there's a lot of rain, uh, we had a big storm in the United States several years ago called Superstorm Sandy. Mm -hmm. What we discovered was a lot of the electrical equipment, which people didn't think would ever be underwater, was underwater. Well, if you have sensors all over the place, that's really, that's really OT, and being able to bring that thing together, you could discover, answer the question, where are the transformers that are underwater? So that's the OT side of it, but the IT side of it would be, so if I have, say, a work management system or a customer system, how do, what customers might be impacted by that transformer being underwater? So it's kind of bringing together, using spatial technology, of many different factors. Sensor technology, like Internet of Things, uh, IT technology, like a customer information system from a utility company, and, and what brings those things together? The common denominator is location. That's where digital mapping comes in. And sometimes we call that smart map. Okay. So, I mean, obviously the impact on utility operations would, would be for those, those kind of... That's right. So my background is, uh, for many years uh, before I joined Esri, I was the uh, head of uh, operations for a power company. So mm -hmm. I actually was in the field with crews, uh, with construction people, dealing with customers all the time. And so what the problem was, oftentimes was, People did things in like little silos, like mm. the person over here would do something and someone else would do something over here. But if you have a platform, and I think of our software not so much as an application, but a platform for collaboration, communication, and sharing of information. So if some person is in the field sort of by themselves, they have a, maybe a paper map, they're kind of in a, you know, they don't really have a lot of communication with what's going on. Mm. So instead, the GIS platform allows a person in the field to have, say, on a mobile device, on a tablet, or on a laptop PC. Once they do something, or once they see something, they communicate back to the office or to the, all of their other workers. So in a sense, I think of the GIS platform as having really three attributes, all beginning with A, by the way. So access, being able to access information from a variety of things. Uh, awareness, kind of answering the question, what's going on right now, right here, mm. and then more importantly, analytics, to be able to say, well, why might that be the case? So is it because of flooding? Is it because of lightning? Do I have vulnerabilities all over the place? Uh, even in integrating social media. People could be tweeting something, mm -hmm. and I see something, and ah, it's like I'm connecting the dots. But location is the key. If you put all those pieces together, you can now begin to bring people together for greater understanding and much better decision making. So it's really about, a utility is about doing really four things really well. Certainly making money or being profitable. So 
productivity becomes really enhanced because now I don't have to go back to the office and mm -hmm. you know, make mistakes. So, or I, I, when I go to a location, I can go directly there just like navigation. And um, the other would be safety, making sure that things are safe because once things are confusing, people become, they make mistakes. And that's when, that's when accidents occur. And of course, making customers happy because now I can respond to a customer's problem. A customer can go online, see their house on a map, see a street light on a map, oh, that house, oh, that street light is out, yes. or that house is without power. So now I can, I can kind of bring that together. And the last one really is, I always say, we've got to stay out of trouble. And what that means mm -hmm. is complying with all the laws mm. of, of whatever country or whatever state if in the United States. So it's compliance, make sure that oil isn't spilling or that we're not you know, doing something that we shouldn't be doing and, and not breaking laws. So that's really kind okay. of how this whole thing works together. So are you seeing, I mean, you recently had a conference, an ESRI conference in the US. That's right. Did you mention 600? It customers? was almost 700 people, yes. Yeah. I mean, so what kind of issues did those customers, the gas and electric yes. uh, utilities, what, what were they talking about in this regard, in this operational? Well, one of, the, one of the biggest issues that they're having, of course, or the biggest maybe opportunities they're having is uh, renewable energy is becoming mm. obviously very huge. People putting rooftop solar systems in. And um, that's creating some really good things, but it's creating some issues as well. If you have too many solar panels connected to a particular circuit, uh, you have some voltage problems, or you might have some uh, load issues with power that's you know, it was never really designed, the systems were never really mm. designed to have power come from the house back to the system. They were always designed to go the other way. So locating those, those solar systems correctly and actually doing the analytics around that is really going to help them. The other thing is that a lot of people are putting these solar systems on and the utility companies have to manage that interconnection. Yeah. So doing it using a spatial technology is really helping. The other piece of it I think that utilities want to hear about is this notion of spatial analytics. Where are my systems most vulnerable? Because mm. frankly, some of the assets are aging. So where it's not just about things being old, but things being vulnerable to new things like, you know, climate change and uh, uh, you know additional loads that that uh, people are doing and people doing all kinds of crazy things with their with their like their electric vehicles. So it's it's really about aging people, aging infrastructure, renewable energy. Uh, the, the low price of gas is also kind of an issue in how they can continue to make money under those environments. So yeah. Lots of different issues. And what was nice was that our customers are really showing examples of how they were using this technology to improve operations, to lower costs, to improve customer service, and, and for compliance. And you mentioned I mean, it is a platform. Are those customers successfully integrating your platform into a, a, you know, other platform systems that they already have. That's right, and that's what makes a platform different from an application. You know, when I, when I think about uh, our platform, I always use the analogy just like Facebook, kind of. So I think of ArcGIS as a product name, or Esri is the company, ArcGIS is the product, is kind of like Facebook for maps. It's not just about storing information, like when you use Facebook, you don't just, it's not for just storing, mm. um, you know, pictures. You can do that in a, on, a, on a server. It's about collaboration. And so that's really what, what people are looking at is the platform for collaboration. So the elements of a platform is, one of the components is the ability to collaborate with other platforms. Yeah. For example, a common one would be work management systems. You know, think people from IBM, Maximo, from SAP, from Oracle, all of these work management platforms. Because we're platforms, we can communicate, usually through something called a web service. And, and instead of having, I need to store information from this system into our system, that's kind of old fashioned. Mm. But really being able to consume web services from other systems. And these systems can talk to one another very, very easily. SCADA system is a real-time system, mm. a, a DMS, real-time system. Being able to bring in real-time real information so that we can really enhance the operational performance. So you iterating your platform to kind of meet utility needs as they arise. I mean, what are you seeing? You know, come, you mentioned renewables and that integration. What are the other big con utility concerns to address? What are the other big what? Utility concerns to address con yes. through, through your solution. Yes, and, and I think, you know, it, it's really about being modern uh, in some ways. Um, I hate to say this, but sometimes we see utilities still using that stuff you make out of trees. What is it called now? Paper, yes. <laughs> Too much paper. 
Okay. For example, one of the issues, in, especially in places where they have weather as an issue, like in the Philippines or in, in New England or in the south where you have hurricanes, wind comes in, trees fall over the play, all of the wires fall down or, or, or erode away the, the pipes and, and you sort of have your gas problems, you have electric problems. And many times what utilities will do is they'll take a yellow piece of paper and uh, go out in the field and kind of take notes and then you take those notes and you bring them back. Well, the problem is by the time you get all that information together, many, many hours have gone by. Mm. Instead, what utilities are now doing is they're taking their iPad or their Android device or their Windows device out in the field, indicating, oh, there's the, here's the map, here's the problem, take a picture, see what's going on, gets transported back to the office immediately, then the, uh, the people in the office can get, figure out where the resources really need to happen, and so we can improve restoration and lower costs. So yeah. that's really, and, and from a gas perspective, uh, you can, from a, cause it's really not safe to have gas just all over the place, making sure that they can turn off the right valves to isolate the problems if they have an, an issue with gas. So okay. actually the same is true of water as well. Yeah, and what kind of communication technology do you use? Does it vary depending on topography? Yes, well, or? yeah, and it's, and it's um, usually uh, cellular um, uh, through, or, or for example, like uh, same as an automatic metering system or an AMI system, it would be uh, some uh, wireless technology to fiber optics to backhaul. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's what it, it uses whatever technology is available. Satellite even if you, if you need it. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And we don't provide that level of, uh, uh, we don't do the telecommunications part of it, we just go normal carriers. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Thank you for telling us more about Esri. My pleasure. Um, and you can watch more of the videos from European Utility Week on the Engerati YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Rose.